Thank you, Doug. Uh, next up is William Rowe. Uh, we'll obviously, uh, we talked about earlier, but uh, just to say, uh, in terms of William's poetry, uh, certainly personally, one of the most influential poets for me, um, not just in that he was the one who introduced me to contemporary poetry back in whatever year it was, dread to think, um, a long time ago, anyway, in Birkbeck College. Um, so we have one of these people that kind of opens the door in your head, so to speak. And I think his poetry, particularly his poetry now, his new poetry, does exactly that in a completely new way. So, William Rowan. From the top of a, from the top deck of another bus, have a sinister look. They seem to be looking back at you. Functionally, if you think about it, rationally, they must have to do with ventilation in hot weather. But what is the function of the function? In November, they weren't turning. Though you could see the blades were black. In appearance. They indicate the fans of some larger ducts, like the ones that prevent a factory combusting and killing the workers. What is the larger machine? For example, the fans that ventilate some of the tube tunnels are much larger, perhaps two or three meters tall, to blow enough air so that passengers can breathe. Or the fans you can see through the intake of a jet engine at least two meters high, and think of the quantity of air that's compressed and pushed through them, and the wind that ventilates the city. Is it enough? The huge invisible fans, the ducts. <coughs> On. Sit in the hospital, it is sitting for something a strong smell already. The smell has gone through everything. This is the stiff cup. This is the stiff cuffs of the nurses and her cold white hand. Also, the brown walls, stiff white virgins and instruments of your present time. Courage and the lack of it has passed through all the bodies, including the father inside the mother, and how it might not be this how we might spit it out, lying on a rubber sheet, and how it might grow into the thing you choke on. More sacrificed women. <coughs> As an epigraph from a Peruvian poet, is the translation. In the shadow of plastered walls, here come in their suits the long-legged white vampires. What is mysterious if the rain mocks and mocks, mocks and bellows? Could the thing heard not have known I if the word was bootless volume? So the ones who die without being born, snuffed, ah, uh, west wind. I am eight years old, every word hates, hurts, more sacrificed women. How out of life, <clears throat> how out of life, series two is ripped out of series, tears from disappeared to 
disappeared. The wound says nothing held the rudder of that conception. The idea of silence moving any faster, organized in the non-word, thought wants to survive. You can only read the score if you are deaf. Bring back that black thing we did not have in our story. I, I lost the author of that of that quotation, so if anyone knows it, you can tell me what it Bring back that black thing we did not have in our story. <clears throat> the dusk leaves and shadows leave, light without shadow. No name hallucinates them. 1,700 drones, the wrong man. Our thousand year plan, despair, air. So now, now some uh, newer poems. The first one is absolutely uh, unapologetically uh, an occasional uh, poem, and its shelf life uh, may or may not be running out. <laughs> <coughs> Called Thatcher's Dead. Mm -hmm. On the way to the party on the 159, did you know that Jimmy Savile was a friend of Thatcher's? And what about all the other child molesters? But Rolf Harris wasn't, was he? I was fined 80 quid for pissing in the street. Did you know if a pregnant woman wants to piss, a policeman is obliged to hold up his cape and protect her? The one who said that was probably a cop. SWP, he said. Inside a crime is where I'm going. Margaret Thatcher died today. Long live death, I shouted. That's a fascist slogan, you said. It's ours today, I said. Viva la muerte. Her bag of bleeding flesh and the cynical morning and the murderous sky. Let the music vomit her out. It would be better if you lined them up against a wall and shot them than this grinding. I would not wish death on anyone, you said. I don't desire to break her law. I want to have done with it. Long live death. <clears throat> the spectre, this is for Uli Freer. How I vomit, vomit enough, how I do do it, and I want to do it. Very much faster than they present themselves. Ungoverned spaces and security vacuum. The horse meat in the English language, if I put it in my mouth. <coughs> An event for which there's no image, which is a line from uh, Rilke. The same thing happened to them when they lost their gherkin, etc. I'm talking about trainers were the thing everyone wanted in the riots. Remove the fetish and the whole system collapses. Canary wharf on fire. How memory has tarmacked and concreted the place where I lived, removed space from it, even the pain, which is the only thing you take with you to the other side, train as the thing, the gherkin, etc. The perfume is macular, the pain has gone. Ni siquiera tasso es banto, not even a spectre. Faluja, it brags loss of code, it brags code, and you say, how could Blair have lied? The manager's everywhere, he's getting fat. The same thing happened to them. Wind of other planets, wind of this. <coughs> Trapped in the animal cage. Trapped in the animal cage, the first cock is met in rings. Rage. This is the creature that wasn't born. Horn. This blue baby's already an old man. He coughs and worries you and looks out of his eyes with the death of the species. Rain comes down on the hospital. This availability of death. And then a 
series of poems I'm going to end with called Law, uh, I'm obviously going to have to study more. Um, law, benefits, what the government told Nicky Melville. We cannot pay you because you have as much or more money coming in than the law says you need to live on. Law, not to act. <coughs> the law had vomited them out. Ask the Pope <coughs> else. He kisses the feet of prisoners. Like meat, the series I had, fallen through the gas. That we should leave them there, like Iraq. No one was there. Law, Andalusia. They took some food from a supermarket to give it to people who needed it. Robbery, suspended sentence, two years. And not go within 200 meters of the supermarket. And not go within 100 meters of the checkout woman who cried. Law, the London Legacy Development Corporation, which is obviously a uh, a, uh, another, I uh, think of Sophie's poem, another um, Olympics poem. <clears throat> Vast new areas of new open space, an atmosphere of trust and neighborliness and a village atmosphere. One of the delights of the legacy is this whole event will be giving back a park to East London. Mm -hmm. The green and pleasant land still exists. Negligence. Ecstasy. <laughs> <clears throat> Law, name. But it's doing something else. The rain's doing something else, like helicopters. Who is this? What voices of syllables of name are coming down? Normal skin and normal hair. Care. Law, immense labor. Immense labor of the homeless, person, woman, man, child, furrows the planet because our having nothing is images of outer change. As for perceiving, we think straight. It's already too late. The lack of exotic music is the law. Walking from Mali to the Mediterranean saw many die on the way. Law, the state. <clears throat> this one is all the things he dreams of. The other. This one is all the things he dreams of. The other, a body in space, homeless. You don't know what the state is capable of. And this is the last one. Uh, law, discipline permits intelligent violence. Protesters have acted with remarkable discipline and restraint. This is a people robbed and spoken. This is the saying of it. You ingratiate contra persons at the exact point where courage is lost. I move war through your sentiments. We are the lords of time, the jagged line, the void.